Hi students, this video I show you how to determine the demand for public goods and compare it with a private good. So you are given the demand curve of uh, each individual for good X is uh, D1 and D2 and it can be written into P equal to 12 minus Q or MP equal to 12 minus Q or Q equal to 12 minus B so O equivalent and you are required to determine the demand of good X in two cases first case is, is when X is a private good and then when X is a public good the results you see here is totally different between a private good and a public good so what's the difference how we get this result let's move to this Excel 5 the first case is when X is a private good you first uh, need to rewrite the demand curve into Q1 equal to 12 minus P and then Q2 equal to 4.5 minus 0 0.25 P right so for each level of price be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we need to determine the uh, demand for each individual and then we uh, can sum up the demand for the market alright so for individual one at the level of price one the quantity demanded will be equal to 12 minus P will be here and enter you get is 11 alright so just copy this formula then you get the the, the quantity demanded for uh, individual one at a uh, level of price all right as you see here as the price increasing the demanded uh, quantity decreasing okay so similar with the individual two this will be equal to 4.5 minus 0 0.25 multiplied by p all right enter and I just copy this and you get the quantity demanded as you see here for individual one that will be the orange line all right and for individual two is the gray line as you see here okay so that's the demand curve for each individual so to determine the demand curve for this private good you just need to sum up the the quantity demanded of each individual as each price level all right so we you get here this social demand okay so the social demand is will be the the blue line as you see here okay so for private good aggregate demand or market demand is the sum of quantity demanded by each person at each level of a price okay so now let's move to second cases that uh, X is a public good for example kid outdoor play equipment okay so you need to make sure that the demand curve will be written into this form P equal to 12 minus Q or MB equal to 12 minus Q. Why? Because the difference between private good and public good is that for public good, everyone will consume the same amount of output. Okay, so we have Q1, Q2, that's the number of kit outdoor play equipment. Okay, and once it's provided, all family will consume this good. So we need to determine the marginal benefit or the price that uh, each individual willingness to pay as each level of output. For example, for individual one, it will be equal to 12 minus Q. And enter, then you get 11, okay? Then you copy the formula. Then you get man curve for individual one, okay? Similar with the individual two, it will be equal to 18 minus 4 star Q enter and 
you copy the formula then you get the zero line is a demand curve for the individual too okay for the social demand you need to sum the marginal benefit of all individual all right or all the price that all individual in the society willing to pay and here is equal to 11 plus 14 at the level of output one okay and then you just copy right and then you get the green light that the social demand for the public good right so for public good social demand for public goods is the sum of national benefits to each individual at each quantity of the good provided okay so you see the difference between a private good and a public good so move back to our graph you see that uh, the market demand for a private good is determined by adding up the quantity demanded by each consumer at a price so adding q1 uh, plus q2 and q3 okay to get the demand curve for private good okay so this we call horizontal adding all right uh, for a public good the social demand is determined by adding up the price or the marginal benefit at each quantity of the good or p1 plus p2 plus p3 etc so this we call vertical adding as you see here is the d1 and d2 okay then we have ds and for a private good is this d2 is d1 and then is ds okay so this horizontal adding of of q okay and for public goods a vertical adding of a p okay so that's why to determine the social demand of a private good you're going to use this form number three okay to determine the social demand for public good you need to transfer the demand curve into form one or two okay one or two all right so understanding the difference between the demand for public goods and private good i think you can answer all the questions related to determine the socially optimal level of apples for public goods or private goods all right please check next video for an example using this uh, information